Guess what, RV fans? I am about to go from AGM batteries to lithium batteries in my Winnebago View RV. And Battleborn just lowered their prices on the 12 volts. And this is kind of the unboxing uh, I should have in here once I open it. The Battleborn 100 amp 12 volt. That's the one over here, looks like. It's a lot of different options. You know, these were 1100 bucks. They were a thousand bucks. They were, uh, they dropped to what, 950 bucks. And uh, then they got down to 799. I decided here we go. So this is the Battleborn. And uh, yeah, they packaged real nice. Looks real good here. So uh, I'm going to try to get these installed tomorrow. It'll be in the next few seconds on this video, obviously. But um, anxious to see how it works out in my Winnebago View um, Class C motorhome. Here is the before. Getting these Napa batteries out of there. Okay, moving along with the, uh, getting ready for the iron bowl. Uh, sorry, Alabama fans. Uh, getting ready to go down to the Auburn game, Auburn, Alabama game. But here is an update on how the Battleborn batteries are going in my 16V. Uh, you see what they did there. Uh, they dropped them in right here. Had some technicians help me out. I decided I did not want to tackle it. And um, so, so far so good. I just have one issue that my generator is no longer working. But the, um, but the Victron Energy um, monitor is right there that you can see. That's where they decided to put it because they had an outlet there. And um, I did install or have installed a battery isolation monitor, a BIM. They did have to modify down there a little bit uh, with some metal, drop it. These batteries are a little bit taller than my older AGMs. You can kind of see some of the holes in the wall there from the, but that's where they're mounted as you well know. Um, by the way, took a peek at these uh, tools under here. I just had never looked under there. Now I'm having a trial and putting that little uh, screw back in, but I'll figure it out. It's got to be lined up exactly right. Now, with the BIM, um, sorry about the rough uh, video in here, but you, you all know I'm on first take on everything. I don't do any fancy editing. Obviously, over here on the driver's side, you got your battery and some of the, um, and your, you know, panel there for all of your fuses and what have you. So one of the things that the battery isolation monitor does is gives you the opportunity to balance your three batteries. So you're talking about your two lithiums and then your uh, Mercedes. I'm not sure it's going to do it without the engine running. Uh, you heard that little click. Now what I've learned is this battery isolation monitor over here is going to click a few times like you just heard. Let's see if it'll make it. You heard that. It's going to click a few times so it's mounted over here under the seat. Of course here we are um, in the driver's side and the lithium batteries. Okay it must be in the process of balancing. You heard it click again. That's going to bug my wife. She hates clicking in the um, in any vehicle or in the house or anything. But, um, of course, that's, I think I said this is a 2016V. But what I've learned in the last day or two, driving it around a little bit, topping off the LP, topping off the diesel before we head down to uh, Auburn, 
is that the clicking and the balancing stops, you know, after a couple of minutes. So there you have it. Um, I have not hooked up the Bluetooth yet over here. Getting ready to do that next. So uh, kind of see what the monitor is saying now, but um, there we go with the light. But I'll have to work on the hookup here and see how to get this Bluetooth going because don't want to have to crawl down here all the time and see what the strength of my batteries are. Uh, one of my buddies told me, he said, hey, the only thing about these Victron monitors are you have to be within three or four feet for the Bluetooth to work. But that's okay. That's okay. It's not like you can be, you know, at the ball game or something and check, check your batteries. Uh, let's see the little plastic thing here. Go ahead and take that off. That makes it a little easier to see. All right. Thanks, folks, for watching Rod's Random Reviews. Subscribe and like if you want some of these very random. And um, this is probably obvious to most of you watching this, but there are a few newbies that uh, actually comment back and thank me for the tips I've given them um, and that sort of thing. By the way, this... Um, this little hack here that I have to sort of have more cup holders. This will actually hold a big uh, uh, coffee cup here if you're driving down the road. But uh, just thought I would show that real quick, quickly. I'll put that in where it goes. But thanks for watching Rod's Random Reviews. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye now.